Uh, this J. Raw, Lone Catalyst. Welcome to the essence of. I got my beats, mass influence. To let y'all know. Hey, uh, this is not enough. Uh, about this hard headed figure on like steel of stone. Roll to get in shit with friends around his own. So he need to think straight, cause he's placed out of stone with the wood house. Flushed around a bottle of dreams. His motto in life. Shit, by any and all means, I'm saying the cash queen to get the pay over. Taking anything from Maine to Minnesota. But this character here don't have one eye order of a clue what to do or hit. So I'm Calum Ben. I'm writing for the Contour Collective. This year I'm running the Bird Ares 9 in the size medium. It's an amazing bike for hitting up some big al alpine descents, even just hitting up some local bike park tracks as well. It's a great bike for doing doing everything. Um, I think it's a great bike for some of the bigger hitting features you might find on the trail, give you a bit more confidence. And yeah, I think it's an also a great bike for racing. It's, it's planted when you're going fast, so it's a good bike to ride when you're racing. So I've actually got the bike in the slack setting right now. So Bird offer a flip chip on your rear swing arm. It allows your bike to become slacker by 0 0.5 degrees. It drops the bottom bracket height by seven mil. So yeah, I've, I tried that as I have also tried the adjustable headset angle. So I've went for 1.5 degrees steeper on the on the front end of the bike. So I like having a bike that's a little bit steeper, so it gives me a bit, bit, bit more feedback. And it also turns a little bit tighter in some of the European corners. Yeah, so I've gone to gone to SRAM all around on the suspension this year, so I've got Zeb's Ultimate on the front and I've also got a coil on the rear, it's a super deluxe. I prefer the coil um, to air because it gives me a more consistent feel at altitude whilst I'm racing. It's also really supple off the top and it gives me a nice small bump sensitivity, so I find it a great shock for all round, like, all round conditions throughout the whole year, cold or, cold or warm. So the bike is hooked up with fun components, so I've got a Fun 50mm stem on the front, paired with the 30mm rise fun bars. Also got the fun grips for one of my contact points. Yeah, so I've gone for SRAM Code RNCs, some mega braking power from them. They are on the Hope Rotors, so I've got 220mm on the front and 200 on the rear. I'm running the DT Swiss FR451s laced to the Hope Pro 5 hubs. I'm running Kushcore in the rear at the moment with the Maxxis tyres all round for some sweet grip. For this season, we're primarily focused on the EDR rounds and Enduro World Cup. So we've done three rounds of that in Europe this year. All consistent results around the 60th position. So happy with that, but lots of improvements still to make with myself and the bike. So. That's my bird here is nine. Thanks for checking out my bike check video. And also a massive thanks to all my sponsors this year for making this happen. Thank you very much.